Hello everyone from MultimediaMouth.com, a great site for all your uh, UK TV show and movie and music wants, needs, and even comic books like the uh, One Word or Less comic book review. Now, I say that because I am talking about a UK show. And that show is The Chase. It's back for its third season on ITV1, hosted by Bradley Walsh. Personally, Bradley Walsh is an enigma of sorts. I mean, I remember one of his earlier hosting jobs when he hosted Wheel of Fortune uh, before John Leslie got it. He was so overbearing and annoying on that show that you just wanted to wish that he were bankrupt. Or... Or stuffed in Brad's box. Whichever one. Anyways... Brackley Walsh on this show has learned a lot. He's much more calmer, much more cooler, and actually isn't freaking annoying. Because mainly the show is just him reading a whole bunch of questions. I think you get around 100 or so questions in his show. Which I have no problem with. Because most of the questions are usually uh, you know, simple pub quiz questions. Because this is what the show is all about. Hard question asking and trying to get as much money as you can. I also love uh, the chasers in this one. All three quiz gods over in the UK. Mark Labette, the Beast, and Hegarty, the Governess, and the third one who, if you're watching this on YouTube on the US, looks like Kevin Blackstone from Around the Horn. About the format, it's a really rock solid format and gives you good variety. I mean, four players compete as a team in order to try to beat the chaser and try to win thousands of pounds. One by one they come up to Bradley Walsh and he gives them a, a minute of straightforward questions. For each one they get right they add a thousand pounds. It's a thousand pounds to their bank so to speak. And then after that minute they meet the chaser and they have a one-on-one -on -one quiz battle of sorts. They have a seven step. They have to get their money to home base before the chaser grabs their money and knocks them out of the game. It, it starts on the third rung. Let's say the first rung, the top is the chaser, the bottom is uh, the player. They need to get their money to the player before the chaser takes it away. And here's what I like about this part. The chaser offers them a, a safer amount, a lower amount, the money is moved one step closer to the player. Or the inverse. More money to have the money go up to the chaser one step. Let's say if it's like 10,000 pounds that they earned, the uh, lower value would be like 1,000 to 1,500. And the top one would be like a, a big amount, like um, on a recent episode I saw 20 to 30,000. Not only that, I love the idea that they have the lock-ins, which gives a nice slower pace, but yet you still don't lose any of the drum. And I know I er railed on about one uh, million dollar money drop, not having a fantastic, about having a nice looking set, but it being passe, so to speak. The chase has a good looking set and it's actually the whole set is very functional I mean you have the background which is a light board of so you know a colored uh, LED light board and in, on the background it has a nice background or it shows in the uh, final chase how many steps the uh, the team has gone I find it very good, and not only that, the entire format is just rock solid. I mean, you could just watch the final chase, and you'd say, damn, that's a good show. 
whether there's one person left in the team or all four of them survived. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very glowing review for The Chase. This is Season 3, or Series 3, excuse me, in the UK. Series 3, 40 episodes have been produced, and uh, rumors are flowing that Season 4 might be showing up later this year, I think in September or October. But either way, if you're in the UK, watch the show on ITV1. If you're not in the UK, go to UKNOVA.com. Actually, I think it's UKNOVA.com. Download the torrents. Find clips of it on YouTube. You will not be disappointed by the show. It's fantastic, and... Chase it down and watch it. So for MultimediaMouth.com and Game Show Garbage, this is Robert Q. Seidelman. Goodbye.